put some weave pulls up. I'm going to start teaching Bowser. Bowser here. Bowser to do the weave pulls. And remember, when you start doing this, it's a lot of muscle memory. He's never done this. So I want to show you how sloppy it looks when you first start doing it. And he's like totally into trying to eat snow. It's about keeping his head up and just it's muscle memory, just getting the dog to go through the gates. That's it. When the dog's going away from you, say weave. When it's coming towards you, say here. And it will just be a matter of a couple days. That's it. And the dog will, you know, I won't have to be directing the dog. This is the quickest, easiest way to do it. Don't worry about it. I want you to see how sort of like the dog really doesn't know what's going on. And that's important because muscle, muscle memory and dog training is so important. Your dog doesn't think. You know, it's, its mind is as tight into its body. It doesn't ponder thought. It just responds. So just having it do the action, whether it realizes what's going on or it's distracted even trying to eat the snow off the ground, it's not going to matter because in a matter of days, he's going to be doing it. In a matter of probably two to three weeks, we could probably have him doing it off leash. Watch this, watch this. This is going to look sloppy, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you. But this is the fastest way to get your dog to do the weave pulls. Absolutely, this is a 13 week old dog. It always looks like this. Hey, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Quit eating the snow. Come on, Bowser. I'm coming, King. Okay, get ready, Bows. Bows, weave. Here, weave. Here, weave. Here, weave. Here, weave. Here, weave. Here, weave. Here. There you go, good boy. That's about typical for the first time doing it. And you got a dog that's like having it, trying to put its head down and grab snow. That's about typical. So know that each time you do it, it becomes like less. There's like, you're using less pressure. I don't even know if it's really pressure. It's just leash direction. We'll do it one more time and then we'll do it later this afternoon. We'll do it multiple times throughout the day. I might just take him out here. And if we're out here working on something, like sit or something, I might run him over here before we go in do the weave pulls. Real short sessions, few times a day, the dog will be doing it in no time. Stop eating that snow, brother. No kidding, I like it. Come on, buddy. Come on, Bowser. Bowser, come on, buddy. Bowser, look at what I got. Bowser, Bowser, look, it's a ruler. It's a ruler, come on. Bowser, weave, here, weave, here. Already easier, weave, here, weave, here, weave, here, weave. Good boy. Like uh, the first gates, I could see it was already like he was like fighting it less, you know? Don't worry about the dog wanting to do something or not wanting to do something. You, you explain to the dog what it's supposed to like and dislike. That's it. Hey, and the snow eating is not gonna cut it with me. Bowser, no, here. Kate, I love this shit. What do you call it? You call it snow? It's delicious. Look at Bowser, good looking dog, Bowser. These weave poles were very easy to do. It's, it's winter time, the ground is frozen. It was still super easy to do. Those are 22 penny nails, the largest nails you can get at the hardware store. And I took a sledgehammer and drove them into the frozen ground, no problem. And then the, the sheath over it is PVC pipe, three quarter inch, and I cut those at uh, two and a half feet each and just slipped them over the the 22 penny nail and they're sort of you see how high they are they're they're like that so that I can a new dog that I'm teaching to do this I want to be able to thread them through it so I want I don't I don't want the 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 uh, pull real high you know I want my arm to be able to go over it very simple very very easy solution Weave poles are, is something you can teach your adult dog to be able to do real good in three weeks. Seriously, real good. You need no food to train them to do this. And a puppy, same thing, in three weeks, Bowser's gonna be doing this great. You can use discipline, it's a good exercise for the dog, it's fun. It's a, it's a great thing to teach your dog.